We're gonna pan over. Welcome to Satellite Art Fair. Oh, don't be on that. So that's your original artwork. Uh, Disobey? It's some, uh, some artwork just for the local cat community, city of Miami Beach. And we don't want you to feed the cats. But you can't pet them. Show us another one. That one was brilliant. That one I liked with that coloring. That was nice. Three. Uh, yeah, welcome to Satellite. Welcome to the year. Directly from Santa Monica, transported down into Miami Beach. Get out of here. Go back to the steal. She's mine, bro. Oh, yeah, what a surprise. What a surprise, surprise. Because people are staring more at us than at. Wow, what's your name? Dunya. Dunya. What's your name? Uh, Aaron, Dunya. Aaron, you are. nice to meet you. Yeah. Can we see your eyes, Dunya? Of course, absolutely. <laughs> what are we hiding? I know, like, I never get a photo with her eyes. The Banksy, she's holding the phone. You know that famous Banksy one with the phone? That was perfect. She was holding the phone, that, you know? I mean, I mean, true fashion is showing awareness of the... Yes. Like, we you all are. are addicted to phones. Right. 100%. Yes. Yesterday we had global warming. Miami's we all fashion. Are aware of global Miami warming. and LA has the same fashion. It's bathing suits. It's generic. Right? It's all and generic. And then the thing is people see this and they think it's immediately porn. Most majority of right. men, unfortunately. Well, I here. thought it was. I, I know oh, you did. Oh, did you? Of course you I, did. I, I, but it's not about that. It's eye porn. Your eyes, addiction to the to phones. The phones. That's why you have all these broken phones. The nar narcissism of the smashed iPhone. Here. Yeah. Thank you. All right, brother. thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank <laughs> you, man. We are here at Art Bowser 2023, the convention center. Have you seen our cat? You know what? Sometimes in our Bowser, you just have to just go with the flow, right? You just like, Mark says, I'm going now. I says, can I change? Absolutely not. Here we go. How was that? Here I laid it down. Go. I laid down the beach. I said, you're going in now? Right. You're not going in at all. Right. It would have ruined like, the whole vibe of Mark had planned for us. This is a nice booth. These guys, I believe, are from Brazil. Very cool. Yes. Yeah. Get a little picture of this. So is it about music? It is a little bit about is music. Is it about technology? Is it about art? Yeah, yeah. it's about, and, it, and it's about, um, you yeah. know, the working class. And, and right. this kind of right. thing. 
like saying things, Mark, you know that. You know that. You know that. You know that. You like the clean You know that, Mark. Yeah, Wait, 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 wait. It's not just the shoes. It's what you, it's what you wear with the shoes. Oh, look, look. Mark, Chris Martin. Later. From New York. Chris Martin from Brooklyn, New York. Chris Martin from Brooklyn, New York. I like candy. I like the shiny stuff. You know I do, okay? Hold on. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Good call. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Robin Williams, I thought it was her. She's great. <laughs> I do like the company. This is cool though. Yeah. Look, come on. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, okay? Everyone's got to take their moment. All the ticks without principle. Maybe I bought this here. Maybe I bought the black hat, okay? Maybe I'm buying the black hat. Mark, can I take a picture of all the big things? Yes, yes, good. Angela Phillips. Yes. And my partner, Sarah, has worked in the title. Today is nice weather. Nice. Tomorrow yeah. will be nice. When we think about things that we're going to curate, um, live with objects are, you see that in, in art's work a lot, like fish, um, moss, that type of thing. And so when we're bringing, we're thinking about things for the galleries, uh, we have to take that into consideration because we have to consider everything else that's in the museum too. Like if we have something that might. I like this. Gotcha. What's your green? from Brazil. Brazil. His name is Adivani Lessa. He lives in Minas Gerais. And then he sculpts with wood powder wow. and glue. A wood powder and glue. And okay. palm tree. And a work with palm tree. This is an artist from Paraguay. And he, he follows the tradition of uh, pre-Columbian ceramics. And this is Lija Pap. Beautiful piece. And Mestre Didi, uh -huh. he's from, he was from Bahia, and Ruben Valentin, he's Brazilian, Brazil. he was Brazilian okay. as well, and he was from Bahia. Bahia. Yeah. So we've got a good selection of South American oh, artists here. yes. Yeah. Really nice. Mostly Brazilian. Mostly Brazilian.
paper and these three sculptures which are quite beautiful.
But it's this. Yeah, but I like it. It's a very effective piece, actually. What year is the video from? It is from 1967. Okay. And these are stills from his Hornfield film, so it's not the video that we have on view, but it's another body of work that he did a little bit earlier in the 60s. He's very avant-garde, he's an incredible artist to bring, and people are engaging with the work in the best possible ways. So yes. It's been exciting. It's good to see him here. Yes. All right.
After four days at Art Basel, Mark and I were overwhelmed. You need many days here. You need to commit, to wander, to be in school. In a dark convention hall without natural light and questionable drinking fountains, each work experienced is a portal to an artist's entire catalog. So you take pictures and jot notes, even of work you don't like. In editing this film, I spent hundreds of hours viewing the websites and Instagrams of the artists I encountered. What is this? You'll see them. There's nine of them all along this pathway. They're called humanoids. The deeper I went, the more shocked I became. Never before have so many people of so many backgrounds made such dazzling art at such massive scale. Some kind of art, right? Paris has left its yolk. We have this giant you right over here. But One can only conclude that modern art has reached critical mass. Renaissance is too small a word. Which is like the epitome of luxury and exclusivity because this is Miami Beach. But also, this is ground zero for sea level rise, for the climate crisis. We are two blocks away from the ocean. What are we doing with pools? And so the artist wants us to think about our relationship with luxury and also our relationship with the environment. I like to call this unremarked renaissance the age of inclusion. And, you know, as I mentioned, the great thing about public art is that you can get up close and personal. The age of inclusion started around 1985, when the Guerrilla Girls subversively pointed out that 85% of works in museums and galleries were by white men. Forty years later, people of color and gender have expanded the conversation a thousandfold and practically dominate the field with novel works. This is a piece that I'm excited to show you. The idea here is that they want us to know that they are present and they want us to be aware 
of the rights and the violent history against black, queer, and trans folks. In many ways, this is a call for action. In a world to peak everything, we have reached peak art. But once you can name a movement and a moment, it's already behind you. Interestingly, this is only the second piece of public art commissioned by the city of Miami Beach. When climate protesters throw soup at the Mona Lisa and to face famous artworks in major museums, artists should take note. This is one of the first works of this kind to be acquired by a museum. Shells used to build roads poured upon shells used to pave the way at the level of the sea. It's very direct. It's commenting on sea level rise, it's commenting on our environment and the way that we use materials. All life on Earth is in danger. Mass extinctions, fires and floods, and polluted oceans abound, while chemical and plastic pollution can be found inside the bodies of every creature on Earth. This piece is by Carlos Luna, a Cuban artist, born in 1969, the 2005 work. And again, see it from this side, now come look at it from the other side. In this collapsing, despoiled world, what is the point of art? To distract us from terrible realities? Or to compel us towards solutions and survival? And so the name of the piece gives us a lot of insight into the message of the piece. Perhaps the only thing that can change us and fix the world that we have broken is art. To do that, artists must do something entirely new and do it soon. If we don't change the space between our ears, we will not survive. You get a sense of Miami really as like, you know, this place that is so full of culture and so full of pride, but also that has a lot of healing. In making this film, I've glimpsed what art will and must do next. As Non3242 would say, it's the contrapositive of AI. This next radical departure in art will change us all. More on that in my next film. As Carl Andre observed, an artist to achieve anything in art has to finally do the thing that nobody else wants to do and nobody else has thought to do.